up at Washington Music Center a couple months ago, and he got a really interesting question about using a reference mix and comparing it to your current mix that you're doing in Cubase. And it seems very easy at first that you would just either import an audio file or an audio CD into your project window and then play that in solo the track. But the problem gets to be that if that track has been mastered already, what we want to be able to do is to actually not have it go through our master section so that we don't have dynamics processing and EQs being applied twice. Not only does it give an inaccurate reference, but it'll just probably make it sound bad as well. So the question was, how do we have a reference track that's used in conjunction uh, with our mix? And we could do this using the control room where we can kind of create an alternate monitoring environment. So if we go to your devices menu, we want to go to VST connections, and this could be opened by also hitting F4, the, F, the function key F4. We want to set our outputs here. We want to have perhaps our main stereo output defined, but not connected. And we want this to actually be connected as a monitor. You could right click and choose add monitor on your control room and define the physical outputs where it's going into your monitoring system. At this point, I also want to right click and we're going to add a QMix. And we'll give this a name, just a, I'll call it reference. And then we'll hit OK. And now we have a QMix. Now to route channels to a QMix, all you'd have to do is to select it and then you want to right click and make sure that the Q mix is actually enabled. It may be disabled by default. So right click and now you could choose Q sends. Now let's find our reference track here. I think we have a stereo reference track here. So now what I want to do is to not have this track go to the stereo output. So I'm going to choose in the output section from my inspector or the routing in the mix console. I'm going to choose no bus. Then when I go to my Q sends, what I want to do is to send it into the Q send here. And I want it to send it at 0 dB so that I'm not having any additional gain. I could go to my devices menu and now go to my control room mixer. So what I want to do is this is now this reference track is now being sent into my QMix one, my reference QMix, and the rest of the mix is going directly here into my mix. So as I play back, I can listen to my mix versus the reference. Say I want this louder. Let's say if I have EQ, and I want to go to my reference mix, just simply click here. And again, now I can effectively reference the source track with my mix and make necessary corrections. So as you can see, using the control room to set up kind of a parallel monitoring path can really aid in having your reference mixes live within your project for an easy way to compare and make adjustments. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.